Hi everyone. After creating a flow model using Metaflow, Module 2 will provide instructions on setting up the transport model and assigning the required properties and boundary conditions for the contaminant transport model. This section outlines the steps necessary to complete a simplified transport model. For the purposes of this tutorial, the focus will be on the basic steps using MT3DMS, the Public Domain Contaminant Transport Program. We start by viewing the sorption properties. We can go to Properties and Species Parameters. And from here we go to Database and we check that this value is set to 1 e to the power minus 7. If it's so, that's okay. And if it's not, you have to change it to this value. The next step is to define dispersion properties for the model. So we go to properties and from here we select dispersion. Visual Metaflow automatically assigns a set of default values for each of the dispersivity variables. This table summarizes these values. It is possible to assign alternate values for the longitudinal dispersivity by using the assign option. So we go to assign single. As you see, the default dispersivity value will be displayed. We can create different zones of grid cells containing unique dispersion values. However, for this example, we will use a uniform dispersion value for the entire model domain. As you noticed, we have not changed any of the values shown because they were set previously. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, just let me know. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye.